Hello and welcome to everyone. Myself Ankit. Today I am going to start the second chapter of class six that is file management data organization. So in this video I will discuss about how can we manage the files and folders in an organized manner in a computer. Okay, so for that we have to perform some steps like moving, copying or transferring files from one drive to another drive or we can say from one storage device to another storage device okay how can we make the searching process means if we want to search any file or folder in the computer so how can we perform that okay so for that we have to perform some steps okay so now let us start so the first thing is moving or copying a file or folder from one drive to another drive okay so the first thing is what is file okay so file is a collection of related information that stored together on some storage device okay so the example of files are like any audio video image even the uh, means output of means the saved files of ms word ms powerpoint ms excel okay so these all are known as files okay and whereas folder is like a cabinet where we keep the same type of files okay so that is the difference between file and folder okay file is the collection of related information where is folder is the cabinet which is used to keep the files okay so here we are going to understand how can we move or copying a file or folder from one drive to another drive okay so first of all we have to know that <coughs> what is drive okay so whenever we click the pc this pc icon okay so a new window appears on the screen which contain all the drives and folders which are available in that particular computer okay so here we can see c d and f these are the drives of this computer okay and the next thing is what is drive so drive is the partition of hard disk okay so here we can see the hard disk has divided into three part and those part are c d and f and these are known as drives of the computer okay so as well as we can set the name of drives according to our requirement okay so now you can see for c drive windows is the name okay for the drive d data is the name okay as well as you can see new volume for the f drive so these all are the drives which are the partition of hard disk of this computer okay next one is moving and copying okay so first of all just understand the difference between moving and copying okay so moving means shifting any file or folder from its original location to another location that means shifting any file or folder from uh, one drive to another drive okay and the meaning of copying is uh, to create a duplicate copy of a selected file or folder from one drive to another drive okay so now we are going to understand how can we perform the move and copy operation okay so for this we have many ways okay so now next we are going to understand how can we move and copy any file or folder from one drive to another drive okay so for that first of all we have to open the this pc and this pc will contain a window okay that is showing all the drives okay for example i want to cop i want to move a file from uh, f drive to d drive okay so actually i am using the windows 10 operating system okay so here we have a different way by which we can move any file or folder okay so for example i want to move the file from study material folder and that folder contains so many folders subfolders okay and i want to move for example uh, teach yourself adobe creative 
this file i want to move this file from f drive to d drive okay so first of all simply select this file okay the first step is select the file and then we can see home tab is present at the top of this window okay so click the home tab and this home tab contains so many groups like clipboard organize new open select okay and we can see clipboard group is containing copy paste and cut commands okay so for moving and copying we will use these commands okay so because we are going to move the file so for that we will use cut option which option cut option or cut command okay so simply click the cut command okay now open the folder sorry open the drive where you want to move that particular file okay so i want to move that file into drive d okay so simply open the drive d and this time again we have to click the home tab okay click the home tab and now again from the clipboard group select the paste option which option paste option okay and click the paste now we can observe that teach yourself adopt creative file has moved from the drive f to drive d okay so this is the way by which we can move any file from one drive to another drive okay we have other ways also to perform this operation okay we can use the shortcut keys also okay so once again we can see the shortcut keys okay for example again whenever suppose i want to move this file uh, means artificial intelligence okay this file i want to move from drive f to drive d okay select the file and from the keyboard okay press control plus x okay so control plus x is the uh, shortcut key for cut operation okay we can observe that so whenever i move the mouse over the cut so we can observe that control plus x that is a shortcut key is appearing on the screen okay and open the drive d okay and whenever we click the drive d simply press the control plus v command or shortcut key from the keyboard now we can see a new file has moved from uh, drive f to drive d that is artificial intelligence okay and we can observe that shortcut command for paste from here just whenever i move the mouse over the paste uh, command so you can see control plus v that is a shortcut key we can use that for this purpose okay next one is if we want to move uh, copy any file from one drive to another drive okay for example i want to move uh, the file from uh, drive d and the file is adobe acrobat okay so first of all just simply click the select the file okay by clicking and again we have to perform the same operations which we have done in case of move operation okay again click the home tab this time from the clipboard group instead of cut we have to choose the copy option or copy command and for the copy command control plus c is the shortcut key okay so simply click the copy command from here and open the drive f okay and again click the home tab and this time again select the paste option okay now we can see one copy of adobe acrobat 5.0 bible file has created and drive f from the drive d okay so both means in both drive the same file will be exist because we all know that copy means to create the duplicate copy of any file okay we can observe that adobe acrobat 5.0 bible is here and as well as this file is also present in drive d we can observe that okay so this is the way by which we can perform move and copy operation in a computer okay next one is moving or copying a file or folder between storage devices okay so means we have to perform we will perform the same steps or whenever we want to move or copy any file or folder okay means in case of 
between storage devices we have to attach the pen drive or other storage device into our computer okay then we can move or copy uh, any file or folder from our computer to that pen drive okay so for this we have to perform the same steps which we have done or we have performed earlier next topic is searching a file or folder okay so windows offers a number of ways to find any file or folder okay so we will use search bar for this purpose okay so whenever we know the exact name of any searching file or folder so that is easy for us okay simply locate the name of that file or folder which you want to search in the search bar okay this is the search bar okay so simply type the name of file or folder which we want to search Sim for example i want to search linux okay simply type the name of linux and we can observe that all the folder or files okay which contain the name linux okay so that will be appear on the screen okay so this is the case whenever we know the exact name of file and folder which we want to search but suppose that we do not remember the exact name of any file or folder which we want to search so windows offers one more method or one more way to search any file or folder whenever we do not know the exact name of that file and folder okay so that are wildcat characters by the help of wildcat characters we can search any file or folder whose exact name we do not know okay so these are these are two wildcat characters first one is asterisk and second one is question mark okay so these two wildcat characters are supported by the windows to search any information whenever we do not know the exact name of any file or folder okay so using the wildcat character asterisk so this wildcat character can be used to replace a string the meaning of string is uh, means a group of text sorry a group of characters or any text any name okay so that is called a string okay so a string of text in search term so this asterisk will replace a a string in search term whenever we do not know the exact name okay so that means any type and number of character in its place so a string can replace a number of character characters in its place means we can write we can use asterisk whenever uh, means we want to replace a number of characters okay and whereas wildcat character question mark will replace only single letter or symbol just understand this the main difference between these two characters are asterisk can replace a number of characters whereas question mark can replace only a single letter or symbol okay so that is the difference between asterisk and question mark okay now just understand how to search any file or folder whose name we don't we do not remember okay for example simply go to the search bar again okay and if i typed here like l then dot then asterisk and then dot and again asterisk okay so this means it will search all files whose name start with l followed by any number of characters and have any extension for example we can see here okay so lecture 25.pdf lecture 14.pdf okay so we can see means different different extens extensions are here dot pdf dot css dot php dot php we can observe that means all the files and folder whose are st started with l and have any extension can be will be appeared on the screen okay next example if we take simply type asterisk okay simply type asterisk 
then dot d o c x okay so this means all the files which contain extension as dot d o c x will be appeared on the screen okay we can observe that cheap guest cheap guest is replaced by asterisk here okay new microsoft office word document is again replaced by asterisk here and all the files which having dot d o c x extension will be appeared on the screen okay one more example we can take uh, suppose l we have typed here l dot sorry l then asterisk then dot d o c x so it will search the file only whose name begins with the letter l and then have extension dot d o c x so i think there is not any file available in this computer which is started with l and end with dot d o c x okay so that is the way by which we can use the asterisk the other one is wildcat character question mark okay so for example suppose that we typed here uh, like uh, uh, simply we typed here tips k i p s tips okay and then question mark then dot and d o c x okay so i told you earlier question mark is replace only single letter or symbol okay so we can observe that only two files are here in this computer which is which are started with kips okay and after the kips only one symbol is one character one letter is there that is p in this file and the second file you can see again the file name is started with kips and only after the kips and before the dot only one is there so one is replaced by the question mark okay so all the files which are started with kips and also contain only uh, after the kips only contain single letter or a single number or any other symbol and also after containing the docx will be appeared on the screen okay suppose that we typed here question mark then dot and then asterisk okay so it will search all the files or folder which con which contain only uh, one letter before the dot and after the dot it contain any number of characters for the extension okay we can observe that e dot txt okay so here before the dot only e is there and it, that means question mark can only represent single letter or symbol so we can observe that l dot docx only before the dot only uh, one character is there one symbol is there that is l before dot 3 means all the files and folder which contains only uh, means before the dot only single letter or number or any other symbol so those all files will be appears on the screen okay so that is the way means we can use wildcat characters asterisk and question mark for the searching process whenever we do not know the exact name of any file or folder okay next topic is understanding different file formats okay so what is the purpose of file format file format is also known as extension okay so by the help of file format or extension we can identify which type of file we are using okay so for the document there is the always the, whenever we save any file of ms word so always that will contain dot doc or dot docx as the file format or as the extension okay for spreadsheet which we use in ms excel so any file of ms excel contain always a file format or extension that will be dot xls or dot xlsx okay image files contain the file formats dot gif and dot jpg dot png etc okay so for audio files there are the extensions dot mp3 and dot wav or dot pptx and dot pptx and pptr 
the file extension or the file formats for the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so by the help of these extensions, we can identify the type of file. Okay, so suppose any file is containing .mp3, so we can understand that that file is uh, an audio file. Okay, suppose that any file is containing the extension .pptx. Okay, so we can understand that that file is of PowerPoint. Okay, so the means uh, the file format is a standard way for encoding information in a computer file okay and it is generally indicated by the files extension okay so these are the files extension okay so if means we can observe that suppose i have saved this file okay so whenever we are going to see this file so we can observe that uh, Suppose that the file name is yes this one okay the so class vi dot docx the name of this file is class vi and dot docx is the file format or extension of this file so we can observe that because of dot docx we can understand that this is the file of ms word or this is a document file okay and one more example if we take uh, yes this one okay so here we can see class 8th that is the name of file and dot xlsx okay so this is the extension of class 8th uh, this file and this that means this is the file of ms excel and this is a spreadsheet okay next topic is shorting files okay so shorting the desktop item means arranging them in a proper order okay so we have four ways by which we can short a list of files into a desktop okay so we can understand this by the help of steps or example okay suppose that we want to uh, short these all files which are available on the desktop okay so simply right click on the blank area so whenever we right click on the blank area a shortcut menu appears on the screen this is the shortcut menu okay so here we can see that one option is there that is short by so whenever we click the short by so we will get four more sub options like name size item type and date modified okay so if we the meaning of name is okay so whenever we select this option okay so this will orders files in alphabetically order okay for example if i am clicking in this name sub option then we will observe that all the files will be appeared on the screen in an alphabetical order okay next sub option is size so whenever we click the size sub option then all the files will be arranged in descending order according to their size okay for example now we can observe that all the files will be arranged here according to their size file size okay just we can see that uh, this first item is the mp4 type of file and it the size of this one is 180 mb the second file the size of this file is 161 mb okay so all the files will be arranged in descending order according to their size whenever we click the size sub option okay next one is if we click the item type so whenever we click the item type all the files will be grouped according to their file type we can observe that means all the pdf files will be arranged in a sequential way okay means this is the group of pdf file this is the this is the group of two uh, chrome files this is the group of two jpg uh, jpf uh, means other type of file okay these are the group of uh, means images okay these are the group of mp3 or um, mp3 files so that is the way means whenever we click the item type then all the files will be arranged according to their group okay and next one is date modified so whenever we click the date modified option so it will organize the files according to the date these were last modified okay so all the files will be arranged according to their 
uh, means a modification okay so by these so these are the four ways by which we can short files on the desktop okay last one is working with multiple applications okay so sometimes we may need to work with multiple applications at the same time okay so for that suppose that i want to work in two applications at the same time okay so for example i want to work with this ms word application as well as i want to work with ms excel okay so suppose that and if uh, the, yes this file so this is the ms excel file okay so yes okay and we have two applications are here one is of ms word and one is of ms excel okay so whenever i want to work in these two applications at the same time what will i do simply right uh, simply right click on the taskbar okay so whenever we click the uh, whenever we right click on the taskbar we will get the set of commands here we can observe that okay and one option is here that is so windows side by side okay so simply click yeah simply choose this option then we will observe that two windows will be appear side by side here yes this one like this okay so now we can do work in both application at the same time okay like this so for that what we have to do right click above the taskbar and select the so windows side by side okay so this is the end of the second chapter of uh, for class 6th okay and uh, just make the practice if you have a laptop or, or computer at your home so you can practice all the uh, means uh, practical part of this chapter okay thank you everyone